<sighs> All of the expendables into one cup. It doesn't get any more awesomer than that. Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review The Expendables 3. So, The Expendables 3 is the third film in The Expendables franchise. We have a shitload of people in this film, so I'm gonna read off of this very awesome cup that I bought when I went to go see the movie Boyhood. So, this movie stars Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, Antonio Banderas, Jet Li, Wesley Snipes, Dolph Lundgren, Kelsey Grammer, Randy Couture, Terry Crews, Kellen Lutz, Ronda Rousey, Glenn Powell, Victor Ortiz, Robert Davi, Mel Gibson, Harrison Ford, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. So going into The Expendables 3, I was really excited because I do really enjoy the first two films. I really love the second one, actually. It was one of my favorite films of 2012. And so all I wanted was just to really have fun with The Expendables 3. And I really don't care that it's PG-13. To me, it's more about the quality of the film. Here's the thing with me, I don't care what a film is rated, whatever the film is rated, I will take it and I'm going to criticize it by how the film is, not by what it's rated. So even if I do hate The Expendables 3, I wouldn't criticize it for being PG-13, I would just criticize it for what the film is. But The Expendables 3, I gotta say, is a lot of fun. I had a blast just watching this movie and I love holding this cup because the movie just got me excited. So yeah, the sequel I do love, but this third film, it still delivered what I really enjoyed about this franchise. It's great to have Harrison Ford fill in for Bruce Willis. His character is basically Bruce Willis's replacement. Out of all the people they picked to replace, I mean, at least we got Harrison Ford, so that's really cool. And then we get to see Wesley Snipes return to the big screen after he he gets out of jail. Good to have you back, Wesley Snipes. And he shows that he still got it in this movie. Jason Statham is really good here. I actually have the Jason Statham poster right here. Do you guys see it? Hello, mates. Yeah. I got that poster when I saw Boyhood, too. Jason Statham was really enjoyable in the film, too. Sylvester Stallone does a really good job in this film. He was actually pretty strong with his character. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have to go with Mel Gibson because he plays a very menacing villain. Like, holy crap. Possibly a little more menacing than Jean-Claude Van Damme is in the second movie. I just thought Mel Gibson really owned the role. He really embraced the fact that he played this psychopathic villain and he has something to do with Sylvester Stallone's character's past without getting the details on it but I actually found the storyline very interesting and what I actually found really fun about this film is how it does have a story just like with the second one except with this one it kind of expands the style of the storyline a little more. The film certainly embraces the fact that it is this over-the-top and cheesy action film, but at the same time, it does take time with its characters. And it actually gives us a story to care about. And of course, I also gotta talk about Antonio Banderas. I understand from a lot of the reviews I've been reading or watching that he really gets on a lot of people's nerves and I can understand that. He plays these fast-talking characters and normally I can't stand fast-talking characters in movies, but I thought how Antonio Banderas did in this movie was just downright impressive. I just thought he did a really good job being the comic relief. He literally made me laugh my ass off. And it was funny how he was getting on the Expendables nerves. I have always knew Antonio Banderas was funny, but I didn't think he would be this hilarious. He just embraced the role, he went for it, and it worked. Of course, I can't get through everyone, but I also like Terry Crews here. Uh, good to see Jet Li come back. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's good here too. I do gotta talk about the new team though. I actually liked two characters from the new team, while the other two, I'll get to them a little later. 
As for the two characters I actually cared about on the new team, it's Kellen Lutz's character and Glenn Powell's character. Kellen Lutz is like this little stuntman and he actually did a really good job in this movie and I really cared about his character. His character gets some of the coolest stunts in this movie and Glenn Powell, he's more of this hacker kind of character and I actually found him really interesting and cared about him and for some reason he sort of looks like a mini Chris Evans as well as sounding like Chris Evans. Am I the only one that thinks that? Really? Is it just me? Eh, okay. I cared about Kellen Lutz and Glenn Powell. Those two were really interesting characters. They did interesting stuff. For the most part, the action scenes were actually very well filmed. They were awesome. They were definitely bigger, especially when it reached to the final 25 minute. It was exciting and it definitely just gave me a big old smile. The storyline was very well written. It's really interesting how this film really blends the old with the new. And I'm glad they actually took risk with this PG-13 because in my opinion, this franchise proves that you don't need an R rating to be badass. You could still be playing badass just with this PG-13 rating. My flaws with The Expendables 3, however, is that while I do like half of the new team, the other half of the new team, because there's a total of four people in the new team, I really did not care about Ronda Rousey's character and Victor Ortiz's character. Ronda Rousey was pretty unwatchable. There were times where she was fine, but there were other times where she was really shoehorning in her role. Her acting was pretty tough to watch. She's definitely a good fighter. When she kicks ass, she is a badass. But when she's acting, uh, yeah. And as for Victor Ortiz, out of all the people in the new team, he is actually the one that is under used. I don't even think I could really recall seeing him kick ass in the final 25 minutes. His character was less focused. His character was not very interesting, not at all interesting. If he died, I really wouldn't care. I didn't care about his character. Kind of irritated me. Speaking of underused, there are a couple of expendables that I thought were very underused. Terry Crews. One of the best parts of this franchise. I really like Terry Crews, but in this film, he is so underused. It was cool seeing him, but uh, I was kind of disappointed the fact that he wasn't in this film as much as he could have been. Also, Jet Li. He was underused in the second film. You know, he was only in the first 10 minutes. He's roughly in this film for only like five minutes. And he only has a couple of lines. He gets to shoot a few times and that's it. That's all you get with Jet Li. So he's more underused in this third film than he was in the second film. And during the action scenes, while for the most part they're very well filmed, there were a few times where the CGI explosions looked really noticeable, really fake. They definitely could have worked a little more better with the CGI explosions considering the film's budget. And there were a few times where the action scenes do get a little shaky. But overall, I had a very fun time with The Expendables 3. It's actually one of the more fun films I've seen this year. It embraces the fact that it's this over the top and dumb fun action movie, but it actually has some kind of style to it, giving some character development along the way. And it was still awesome, even in its PG-13 form, in my humble opinion. I completely respect your opinion if you don't like this film because of the rating, but I still had a fun time with the film even though it is PG-13 which like I said it doesn't matter to me anyways because I focus more on the quality over the MPAA rating. Expendables 3 gets a badass 3 out of 4 stars.
Tips. I have two videos on We Live Film I would love for you to check out. The best big budget summer films of 2014. And I also reviewed the movie Robots on We Live Film in honor of Robin Williams who tragically passed away. And also watch that video you guys because if you watch my movie review on Robots as well as all the other Robin Williams videos, all of that money revenue on those videos is going to go to the suicide charities. I will leave a link to both videos in the description below. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.